Oh, hello. Welcome to El Madronel. Today I'm at this beautiful Finca style Andalusian villa here in this exclusive gated community and I'm going to show you around. Come on in. So we just came through the magnificent antique and heavy wooden front doors and we're here in the entrance hall which is perfect for greeting guests, it's a very impressive space, you've got this stone fireplace here, really lofty ceilings and we're going to go straight through now into the central courtyard of the house. Now before we begin the tour, I'm going to quickly give you some little facts and stats about the property. So this property measures 865 square metres of built space and it sits on a plot of land just over 5,000 square metres in size. It's on the hill here in Benahavis, so you have incredible views of the surrounding mountains, El Concha, and the sea as well in the distance. The property has seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, and there are actually a few of the guest bedrooms leading off of this courtyard as well, but first we're going to head into the main reception and entertaining space and begin the tour on this floor. So we've just come through the French doors leading off of the courtyard and into this fabulous reception room. I love this room. I mean, first of all, look at the ceiling heights in here. They're in excess of seven meters and you really get this feeling of volume and space. It's also at the same time very comfortable and cozy with all of these neutral tones. It's very organic. They've layered lots of different textures. So you've got travertine coffee tables, this fun almost kind of boucle carpet that you can really sink into. I just think this is the perfect space for all the family to hang out, cozy in the winter, light and bright and refreshing in the summer. I just love it. So as I said, the courtyard is on one side, leading through the French doors into this room and you have three more sets of French doors on my right hand side, leading you out onto a terrace and the garden beyond with the pool and spectacular sea views. It really is a beautiful garden. We're here in the hills, so you've got excellent views. And I'm gonna take you out there a little bit later in the tour, but first I wanna show you around this floor. So we're gonna head into the dining room and the kitchen next. The formal dining room has a slightly darker tone to it. You've got this sort of almost gray feature wall here around the fireplace, which I think just makes it a little bit more cozy. So if you're entertaining in the winter, very comfortable in here. You do have underfloor heating throughout the house as well. So this is definitely not just a summer home. It can be used all year round. Now behind me, you have this long rectangular wooden table with seating for 10 guests. And you also have another option to dine outside on the front terrace by the pool. And then through these French doors in front of me, you have a covered terrace with another outside dining option and also a kind of barbecue setup as well. So plenty of options for entertaining all year round. This space flows directly off of the reception room. So it's its own separate distinctive area, but you do get a really good flow through this whole floor from the courtyard, the reception room, into the dining room, and then into the kitchen, which is where we're gonna head next. The house has this kind of country style, traditional kitchen. You could upgrade it if you wanted to or modernize it, but I think it's very much in keeping with the Finca style of the architecture of this property. And you know me, I love a big island in a kitchen for everybody to come together and pitch in with the cooking. It's also perfect for entertaining here as well in a more relaxed way. And then speaking of relaxing, there's a little ante room here, which is like a summer sun trap. So I'm gonna take you through that now. Off to the side of the kitchen you have what I have called the sunroom. It is so bright in here. You have more of a cream tone on the walls, which just means that the sunlight bounces around in here. You've got a whole wall of windows to my right hand side, overlooking the mountains and the sea. And here you're practically east, south and west facing. So you're gonna have the sun all day long. And I quite like the fact that this room is a little bit more confined or constrained. It makes it really cozy and it's a nice, small 
smaller space to retreat to. I can imagine curling up with a good book on the sofa. You've got a fireplace behind me if you wanted to have that on as well. I really like this room. It's a bright, sunny, comfortable room. And in front of me, you have French doors leading you out onto the covered terrace so that you can flow with the whole space and the garden as well. Now, before we head out into the garden, we're gonna head upstairs to the primary bedroom suite. The entirety of the first floor of this villa is dedicated solely to the principal bedroom suite. So we're in the principal bedroom now and what I love in here, again, you have these fantastic ceiling heights. So the roof is pitched, it goes up, creating this open, airy feeling. So this is truly your oasis. Now, there's plenty of space in here. You also have a walk-through wardrobe in this bedroom. You have a terrace, which we're going to go out onto in a minute, as well as a second balcony through French doors. And beyond this bedroom, the villa has six further bedrooms. So they lead mostly off of the courtyard and the lower floors. There's plenty of space to host guests. They're all beautifully decorated as well. This space for me, however, is definitely a standout bedroom, of course, being the principal. I love the light, fresh tones in here. This is just a really nice space to wake up and relax in. For me, the cherry on top of the cake in this principal bedroom is this additional little space here around the fireplace. You've got two beautiful paintings, one very much Primavera style, it reminds me of Botticelli, and the other one is a still life, so perhaps a little bit of memento mori when you wake up first thing in the morning. And then behind me you can see the French doors leading out onto the terrace with the most dreamy view. So we're gonna go and have a look now. I mean, Wow, this view has to be one of my favorite things about this property. We're now on the lower ground floor of the house and this is what I would call the fun entertaining floor. Now there's lots of different areas down here for entertaining the whole family, particularly if you've got teenage kids, I can envision them spending a lot of time down here. This room is currently set out as more of an informal lounge reception space with lots of different sofas and seating areas. I can personally imagine somebody putting a big projector screen on the wall behind me and turning this into a little bit of a cinema space. Now of course I can't be stood in this room without talking about this giant life-size, I mean it's a real ostrich that is stood behind me, with its little basket of eggs. Definitely the first ostrich I've seen in a property. And I have seen a polar bear before, I do see some interesting things. This is particularly unique. Now, heading over here behind me, there's a door leading into another entertaining space that's a little bit more of a nighttime vibe. There's a pool table and a bar through there, as well as a guest bedroom in case one of your guests has perhaps had one too many and needs to spend the night. And then through these large antique wooden doors, I've got one more surprise for you. And there's something I bet you wouldn't expect of this property, so follow me and we're gonna take a look. Something a little bit more contemporary. On this level, we have an inside spa area. So behind me, you have this lovely heated pool surrounded by the pebble surround and above with the gorgeous starry lights on the ceiling. I just love a starry sky. Now on this wall behind me, you have a nail salon, a massage treatment room, as well as a Turkish hammam. And on this side, you've got a lovely lounge relaxation area, as well as a gym if you fancy running. I mean, I would definitely be motivated with that view, lifting some weights perhaps. And then I'm gonna take you through to the sauna and cold plunge. Off of the swimming pool and the gym, you have this sauna, which again is very unique to this property because they've built out this room towards the side of the house and you have these huge windows. So you can sit here in the sauna overlooking the sea and the hills surrounding you with all of the cypress trees. It's just beautiful, so relaxing and the perfect place to meditate in the morning.
Next to the sauna, there's a door leading you out onto a terrace on this lower level that has a refrigerated plunge pool. So it's an ice bath whenever you want, turn it on, take your cold plunge, and then you can swap between the sauna and the cold plunge. So finally, coming out onto the terrace and into the garden, you've got the swimming pool in the centre here, so if you're more of an outdoor swimmer, or perhaps for the summer months, it's a very large swimming pool in the middle of the garden, surrounded by palm trees and banana leaves and banana palms. It's honestly beautiful, and they've taken such care with the landscaping here. You've got such a good variety of different plants and foliage, from avocado trees to clementines to rose bushes. It's really colourful, it's a little bit tropical, still Mediterranean. It's just beautiful. That concludes our tour for today. I have really enjoyed showing you around this Finca style property here in El Madronel. I wanted to thank Emile Issa from Strand Properties in Marbella for providing us access today. And I really hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I promise lots more exciting tours coming very soon. Bye for now.